Hey folks, welcome back to another week of GeoGuessr. Uh, quick housekeeping before we actually start this week. Um, I'm still deciding whether or not when and what time I'm actually going to be putting these out, whether I'm not going to keep them at 6 a.m. my time when I put them up, or if I'm going to move them to the other days when we're not doing our normal Let's Play uploads, which are Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. But I think for this week, I'm just going to put them up at the 6 a.m. slot. Uh, if I do change it, I'll definitely let you know, either in the video or on Twitter or something like that. If you have any input on choices, if you think you should keep it here, just let me know. But for now, let's start the challenge again. Start this challenge. Uh, let's hit F11 to go full screen. And let's do this. All right. What about feeling? Wow. All right. We waste no time doing Russia. Our Rameshki. Rameshki? Oh, this is a single photo. Great start. Well, for the next hour, hour one minute and 34 seconds, I'm going to look for Rameshki. Uh, let's see. Well, this is a needle in a stack of needles, as Tom Hanks said, and I think Saving Private Ryan. So let's see. I doubt this is a big enough city to actually have to show up this far zoomed out. But who knows? Russia is a very big place. Sometimes I always wonder who comes up with these borders at what point. It's like, yeah, we'll have the border. It's probably conveniently placed along a river. Nope. Malonetics Automatonis Okrug. I don't know what the hell that means. But why this line? Why didn't we decide like a different line somewhere else? I don't know. Uh, I wonder if they should actually keep these uh, one photo GeoGuessr things. You think that, uh, I'll just get to put it here for now, that GeoGuessr, well, Google Maps, as you say, because that's where they get the maps from, they'd be rich enough to send a car out in this. I mean, it's... Definitely a road. A guy came out here with a photo. This is pretty high quality video photo. Or did they hire some guy to, all right, map center Russia. And then this guy just, the day before he was actually supposed to do it, took three steps outside his uh, town, took a picture and said, Russia. I don't know. We're not going to find anything. In this photo, except an old, that looks like Orthodox, because I don't know how many different religions are in the country. Usually that's kind of, actually all of Russia, I believe, is Orthodox, because they have that cross with a weird um, angled bar to it. I don't know what that extra thing's for. I haven't bothered looking into it. But this... Um... This is a... Was, why is there a home plate here with... That is Z-H-I-E-N-B-V. See, I have this problem when I, I say it out loud, then I actually try to pronounce it, and I'm like, I can't do it. Muscatesia. Yeah, Muscatesia. I'm probably butchering that. If I am... Oh, it says... Mascatija life. I'm just going to put it here. This is probably on the Pacific. Who the fuck knows? Yeah. Close to Tver. Tver. How am I supposed to know Rameshki is there? One star. That's all I'm putting. Next photo. Well, this one looks a little bit more promising because I can actually move on it. So good start. Let's see, this is an American, just because that is in miles per hour, and I don't think any of the other countries that use the imperial system actually uh, have giant corn row, corn fields as this does. All right, so at least this truck is from Nebraska. Whether or not it's this is actually the state, is uh, debatable because I don't know if you know this about trucks. They like to drive on roads and they don't always stay in the same state they're registered out of. Well, that's a yield sign. 
Um, let's see if I can't see this truck and do my look at the license plate trick. The problem is, I don't know if I remember what uh, Nebraska plates look like. Yeah, that's That could be New Hampshire for all I know. Let's see if I can't see any more road or uh, highway signs. Signs of any kind. Let's move up just a bit. See if I can't. Giant propane. Dodge, Nebraska. All right, Dodge. You seem small enough that I am not going to see you unless I zoom quite a ways in. So let's just put you down here. We got two minutes and I don't want to burn all my time just yet. I don't know much about Nebraska, I've never been there. I've flown over it, then again a lot of people fly over Nebraska. I think we're in a town of some sort now because we're in a reduced speed area. Come on, arrows. Thank you. I don't know why it gets caught up like that. So I don't know anything about Dodge. That looks like a fun place to hang out if you're a kid and you have nowhere to, no, nothing to do after uh, school. Just hang out in this derelict parking lot of this abandoned factory. And you throw rocks until you're old enough to try meth. And if I have one word of advice, I'd say don't try meth. Minute 20. I know this is Dodge. I haven't found a road sign of any kind. I haven't found any actual highway mark, mark demarcations of any kind. And we're into small town Nebraska. The smallest of small towns, as John Cougar Mellencamp would say. He was born in a small town. Something, something, every other word in that. The end of every sentence was something, something, small town. And then small town, small town, small town. Harmonica solo. That is, I wouldn't say every... I think it's Mellencamp, I don't know. I'm not too up on my... Uh, any John Cougars of any kind, or any Mellencamps. What the hell am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> Where the hell is Dodge? I'm going to be very mad when I can't find it in 20 seconds, because this is clearly Dodge. And I have a feeling that someone, as I'm pinning on this, is like, no, you idiot, you've passed it 20 times already, it's right there. Just to let you know that if I was watching me do this and I saw that, I would be saying the same thing. I don't know where it is, I'm just going to put it here and live with the results. Yep, other side of the state. I probably pan over this a couple of times, actually. I think I have to, yeah, I have to dot zoom way in more than I actually, actually were able to. Well, this is not America, just because that's meters, and this looks tropical. It's all fuck. Now, is this Brazil? I don't know. Southern Hemisphere is Russia. Well, it's kind of northern and southern. It kind of straddles the line with the equator. Esta, well, that's Sao Paulo, so it's the government of the... I'm going to assume that this is the province of Sao Paulo. So, we have it ironed out to this weird chicken nugget. And I'll just put you in Bauru to start. Actually, there's Pointa whatever, but it feels like it's small enough that I'm not going to see. Oh, there's a sign over here on this roundabout. Retorno. Sounds like a uh, type of pasta. Pardon me, all you Portuguese speakers. You wanna? I'll keep on going with this too. I don't know how ignorant this makes me sound, but I kind of feel like, based off nothing, that. Portuguese was kind of like made as a language because like well Spain's got a language and France has their own language let's be cool I don't want to do Spanish let's just do our own language yeah all right so uh oh I was zoomed in quite a ways yeah let's do our own language all right 
So how are we going to make it different? Are we going to do a whole different alphabet? No, we're going to use the same one that the... I'm going to put a marker down because I, oh, I did already. Come on, let's go. We're going to use the same language that the French and the Spanish use. All right. Are we going to... What's, what's our fancy little, like, uh... Are we going to use any little accents on our letters? You know, the little lines, dots, the circumflexes they do in Spanish, uh, French? Yeah, we'll use a lot of that, too. Well, what about the words? How Are, are we going to, like, have all our feminine words end in A's or O's or whatever? Yeah, it's pretty much going to be Spanish. Let's just, let's just um, break it down here. It's pretty much Spanish, except for, like, we had a lot more O's. I know this is horribly reductive and... Stupid on my part, but how'd that guy get in front of us? Oh, we're going up a hill. This seems... Oh, we're passing that truck now. We've been stuck behind you long enough, buddy. We're, we're done with you. So anybody who speaks Portuguese... I know a few Portuguese words. Thanks to a fellow I used to work with at one of my previous jobs. Just because he would call everybody at work basura or tataluga and i know i've butchering the pronunciation this tree felt like it just came out of nowhere yeah i feel like this is rural enough that i'm gonna put it like over here although it's probably right there so let's split the middle i know there's no water but i'm gonna put it right there but he would call everybody at work either basura which is i believe it's garbage or trash just because he 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 was very opinionated and then he would also call people Tataluga, which I believe is Turtle. He was a fun guy. I swear he worked like five jobs a day, slept like two hours. And then every day, any day that he actually... How are we passing you on this side? This seems hor... Oh, you're passing us. You're a ballsy truck. And we're letting it happen. Or are we getting off? I think, well, this photo we're getting off. Every time that guy had a day off... He would take a flight straight down to Florida, go to Miami for like 10 or 15 hours. All right, yeah. I mean, it is Sao Paulo. I'll put it in the middle there. He would go to Miami next round for, is this another, well, this is another foreign place. They have pine trees. This feels like Scandinavia. Am I right? Uh, maybe. Maybe. But I don't know how this guy would do it. He would always go there and then come back. Not too much, not much later, with a bottle of cachaça, which is their... Oh, God, what's it made from? It's made from sugar cane there. That's just mailboxes. Sondra Dai, or Sondra Bai? I don't know. But always come back with cachaça for our boss. Or maybe he'd do a shot or two. We'd let him do it because Jesus Christ, that man worked so much, so hard. For quite a long time, at least for as long as I knew him. I worked with him for a couple years. He's the only guy I'd know who would actually put a electric fan into a dishwasher to clean it. Wait a little bit. Alright, yeah, this is... This is, it doesn't have any of the umlauts above the A, so this could be Dutch. Uh, no flags anywhere. GMC truck. They have GMCs and... I've never seen a G, this just kind of throws me off because I've never seen a GMC. A General Motors car. Anywhere outside of North America. I don't know. This is throwing me for a loop. It shouldn't. Because these are clearly... All right. This is clearly Scandinavia. But it's not like t giving me enough information. This is a complete tease. Maybe this will help. Loken. This is Dutch. Danish. Look for 21. Is that a 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, it, it got cut off. So look for a 2-2. Two -two. Or could this be like East Prussia? Lillestrom. Was it Lorcan? 
I don't know. 159. How far do I have to get into these? Oh. <sighs> okay. What about up here? All right, we're getting close. I close just because of numbers. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. 181. I got to put you here just for now. I feel this is Dutch. Is it, it or Danish? There isn't a difference, is there? I mean, there, there, there shouldn't be. That's not Littlehammer. Naval Air Force? That's... No. Lillestrom. Lillestrom. Loken. I think it, they're like O's. Is that like Sholp? Pardon me if I'm getting your... Your little symbols you put in your letters wrong. I'm just a silly American. Oh, what well, I just saw the O. I got excited. Um, this is hard. Well, ten seconds left. I'm gonna put it next to V Borg, and be wrong in the country. Here we go. Yeah. All right. That's just silly me thinking anything with an O, the line through the O, is straight up from Denmark. That's on me. I'll give it four stars. All right, final round. These look like they're in Nepal. Just because they have the, uh, it's either the city I live in or Nepal because they all have that. I forget what those are actually called, but I believe that I think this is just a straight up uh, walking tour of some park. It's got to be real weird looking for some dude with this giant backpack thing walking around with a, uh, I believe it's a giant, the, the little cameras they use for these things are like a giant soccer ball attached to a pretty sizable stick coming out of a backpack. Some dude just walks around. That was a sign of some sorts. I can see if I can't, uh... All right. Temple 3 lies north of the body tree, faces east, one of the most sacred edifices in Jet Jetavana. Uh, and it's believed to mark the spot where he stood. It's been a while since I took an uh, East Asian religious class, so I don't remember the origins of Buddha. I'm going to say it's Nepal, and I'll probably be wrong, and it'll be over here. Because this language and this client, it, it doesn't feel like oppressive, like humid as fuck. I could be completely wrong. Uh, in front of the temple, two brick terraces for Buddha. A large Bodhisattva image of the first century AD discovered. Recording this setup as by Baal in the reign of the Kushana king, Usantang. I believe that is not Nepalese now. It could be more in this area. So I'm going to put it here in Northeast La Laos for now, although I'm pretty sure it's not Laotian. Image within a small brick temple seems to be an earlier shrine spot. This edifice was erected. It indicates remains of... Okay, it gives me nothing except if I knew anything about East Asian civilizations other than the from the game civilization. Let's see, this sign might have something on it. Let's move a little more. Or is this the same? Ah, this tells me nothing. All right. Let's see if I can't get any sort of... Wow, that looks real cool. Go to that. Go to that. You find that and you look at it because Jesus Christ, that looks cool. What are you? I need to go to this place. That is... Really cool looking. So. The second one where it's just non-street related. All right. That. Now follow my logic just so looking at this. I want to say looking at this cool thing. It's some sort of big ass fancy palace. That kind of looks like the thing in the new... Sky bot well backgrounds for the new hitman stuff, and I believe that was in Thailand. That's how dumb my logic is here, but I feel that it's strong enough. 
I'm going to go with it. I have 36 seconds. I feel like this is Thailand. Just because when you look at the one of the new maps and the new thing for Hitman. The thing in the background kind of looks like that. Or at least my memory is making me think it looks like that. And it probably isn't that at all because I'm an idiot. But you'll forgive me as I grasp at any sort of straw I can find. Can I get over there? I have 10 seconds. Get over there. Get over there. This is all the information I need. Four seconds. Uh, I should have came here sooner. Ah, fuck. Well. Talk myself out of that one. Silly me. 147. Eh, I just didn't wander enough. God damn it. Sat there and just babbled on about some useless information I didn't need to. Oh, well. Let's look at our summary. Nothing... The only real bad one is this one, followed by that. These two are okay. But... Uh, getting better. Shaking that rust off. It's taking a few more weeks. Although my muddled grandpa brain is still... Rationalizing myself out of okay answers, but... Whatever. We'll try to do better next time, but... In the meantime, thank you all for watching. I uh, do appreciate all the support. If you have any other suggestions, again, about when you would prefer to see these things up, I'm still mulling it over when I'm going to do it. Uh, leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Let people know about my terrible, terrible geoguessers as I readjust in this chair and make a bunch of squeaky noise. But for Evo, this is Greg. We are Hobby Fist. We'll see you again on uh, Wednesday.